Hi, my name is Farak Ajib and you're watching me on DesiBlitz.com. DesiBlitz.com Firstly, many congratulations, Farak, uh, on achieving your professional status. How are you feeling? Very good, thank you very much. Yeah, been uh, been buzzing ever since I turned pro. Uh, didn't quite sink in the, that night, but when I woke up in the morning, it felt like a different man. I was nervous going into the match, but once I won, I was like, yeah, I can go home now. But it didn't quite sink in till I woke up the next morning, thinking, yes, I'm a professional sneaker player only thing I've ever dreamed of doing. And what was your family's reaction? Uh, they were over the moon, especially my dad, who's uh, my biggest fan. So he, he was very happy. He even came home early from work to congratulate me. Over the years, how confident were you of becoming a professional snooker player? In my younger years, I was very confident. But as I got a bit older, um, I started to lose it a little, thinking my time's gone. But obviously I didn't. <laughs> And when the doubt started creeping in, what kept that drive to become a professional snooker player? I've always had a dream of being a professional snooker player. So I thought to myself, oh, give it one more year, give it one more year. And then this, this was it. Having become professional in 2020, what are your targets and goals? Uh, my first target is to win the early matches and hopefully by the end of the year, get into the top 64. And that will keep me on the professional circuit. Does your status change with you becoming professional? Will you continue to represent England or fly the flag for Pakistan? I've not really thought about that at the minute, but I am open to both options. So I won't single one out at the minute. You said that eventually you want to win a ranking tournament? Yes. Um, do you feel you have the game to compete with the very best? I definitely have the ability but I just need to put the hard work in for me to reach that level. On the professional circuit, who would you like to beat and why? Um, definitely Ronnie O'Sullivan, because he's the uh, best out there and you have to beat the best to be the best. And any other players? Um, mainly just him, I'd say. Is he a player that you looked up to? Um, yeah, he's the one I've been looking up to for years. He's by far the best player and I'd like to eventually play him and beat him. What do you find more easy or natural when playing on the snooker table? Um, I find break building easy um, and long potting. Other than that, uh, safety, which I need to work on a little, but definitely break building. And how's your performance using the rest? Um, I think it's getting better. It's not the best, but it's definitely getting better as I've been putting a little bit of time in with the rest. What is your opinion um, of the miss rule? Have you been in a situation where the referee kept calling it a miss? Yeah, I actually had my opponent in a snooker and I got nearly 40 points off it in the Q school. But uh, he did miss it. He did carry on missing it, but ref didn't call a miss in the end because he was only a millimetre off it. So which I think that's the correct decision. What would you say are the most important assets for a player? on the green base? Um, I think temperament's a big one. Um, also, also the skill levels of a person. But temperament's the main one, I'd say. And how is your temperament? Uh, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see the future for British Asian snooker cueists? Um, well, since Barry Hearns come in, he's opened the game up so now's a very good time to be a professional snooker player. So I'd recommend them taking up the game now. What would you say in terms of Barry Hearn's snooker expansion plans? Uh, how is it benefiting the players? Well, for one, there's more money in the game now than there was 10 years ago. We went from six tournaments a year to nearly 20 tournaments a year now. So it's more like a full-time job where it was part-time before and a lot more money than the, even for the first round winners now than there was before. 
leading up to Q School 2020, um, did you have a coach in place? And will you be having a coach um, in place now that you have gone professional? Um, there's something to think about. I did not have a coach, no. I have done in the past, but leading up to this, I did not have one. What advice would you give to any young aspiring snooker player? Um, you definitely have to work hard, even if you have the talent. Uh, the more time you and effort you put in, the more the game will give you back. Thank you for that, uh, Farouk. We're just going to have a quick rapid fire round. You have only a couple of seconds uh, to answer each question. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. So, we start. In terms of love, where would you rank snooker if you had a top 10 list? Five. Your favorite Hollywood actor? Tom Cruise. Jana Dalia Alugobi? Alugobi. What is the most naughtiest thing you've done? Can't say. <laughs> if you had the chance to self-isolate in a different country, where would it be? Um, go to Dubai. Pakistani mangoes or Turkish delights? Pakistani mangoes. Thank you, uh, Farah Khajeb, for joining us on DesiBlitz.com. We wish you the very best for your future career uh, on the main professional World Snooker Tour. Thank you very much.